Alec, welcome to a brand new Gents Challenge. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, it's, Oops. it's, uh, we're rolling the dice on this one. We're, uh, we're spinning a roulette wheel. We're playing a whole three, three, not two games, but three, a three Monty. You know, <laughs> put, put your bets on. <laughs> Everybody's come down you don't have the to play all three games, folks. Necessarily. You don't, you don't but, but, uh, uh, but put, hedge your bets. Which game are you gonna play? Which which game is gonna be give you achieve you status? Which one will give you true gen status? Is there an imposter among you? Will you play all three anyways? I don't know. Well, okay, we'll let's see. talk about it. If you're new to the channel, if you're new to all this, uh, the gents challenge. It's a little <laughs> thing we do on our Discord server where we are paired up with someone, and it's for the video game fans out there. You give them a your list of your backlog or whatever games you want to complete, at least you get a minimum of 15 games. Then you're randomly partnered up with someone and they will assign you your games. Usually it goes, you need one game to be a gent, two games to be a supreme gent, and if you beat neither, you're a rascal within the two-month deadline. A little twist for this one, from the theme presented by East Gilliam, it's the three-game Monty. Mm -hmm. So essentially, the easiest way to say it is there is one imposter amongst your assigned games. One of those games will not count towards uh, Gent nor Supreme Gent, and it's up to you to try to uh, decipher or strategize around it. Uh, I've already seen plenty of people saying, like, you know, I'm going to try to play all three games. If so, people are trying to break this this challenge before it starts. Like, you know what? I've fucked, yeah. fucked the challenge. I'm just going to play all three. You can't stop me, you know? <laughs> you so can't stop me. I was like... I was I was worried like no no one's even gonna care about the the uh, the imposter game, but I thought it was interesting because coming into this I was gonna say we both know uh, what the uh, imposter game is for each other, but we can't say. No, but yeah. now you right before we right. started recording this challenge you finished Metroid Prime Remastered, which was did the imposter game. Metroid Prime Remaster was my imposter game, um, but. I didn't. I didn't feel so bad about it. Um, you know, I I look at it as it's it's this this just is fun. It's all for fun. I played this game before. Also, I this not not Metroid Prime Remastered, but Metroid Prime. I played several times mm -hmm. throughout my life, so I'm very familiar with the game. Um, well, generally familiar, but it's been it's been quite a few years. It's probably been close to a decade. I think probably was the last time I played it. So, um, so it, it had been a little bit, and uh, you know, it was a little rusty, but. It was uh, it was fun to, to get back into it, but as well. Rusty is participating. It's very exciting. <laughs> I saw two two of my college friends are or three yeah. of my college friends should are. say dating. this is it's the really uh, record turnout, the highest participants yeah. of any gents challenge we've had on the Discord. Pretty crazy, twenty people. Um, yeah, even our first challenge back in twenty eighteen was like eighteen people. Our record was nineteen. Uh, one of the other ones, but really cool see a big turnout for yeah. it it's fun to see a lot of activity going on people already completing games already getting gen status mm -hmm. but yeah what talk about who you're a partner with and what was your uh strategy what's your thinking going into it yeah Did so you... obviously no spoilers i will not, i will not spoil my the imposter game obviously for my for my partner right uh, but i was partnered with uh shadow turnia which i was really happy about because he's participated basically Everything that we do, um, and uh, the you know uh, all the pretty much all the all the gen challenges, and he's been a little less active. I think he's he was uh, saying some stuff has gotten busy. So uh, for yeah, for so, uh, but thankfully came back in kind of you know near the last minute. That was a, that was the thing that was exciting. Having not participated in the gen challenge at all last time, mm -hmm. to my uh, shame. Um, I was able to uh, to participate this time, but I wasn't the like last person. There was like quite a few people that were after me, so I was like, "Yay!" Yeah. <laughs> Just by getting spammed and notified <laughs> constantly, so I wouldn't forget. Um. So yeah, so. I mean, a lot of the games that I had on my list, I, I were all just kind of just thinking like these are games that I. I think I've had on list before. A lot of them were. Some of them were just like. Games that. I, I didn't want to put like all RPGs or all really short games. I want to have a little mix, a little bit of both, depending on who was partnered with. I just kind of just threw some games out there, stuff that that's on my backlog that I've wanted to get to for a long time. 
Um, and then, so I, I like, I wanted a blend of old and new also. I had like, cause there's some games that came out last year that I hadn't really gotten to. Uh, but then there was some like older stuff that I had uh, lying around that I definitely wanted to get to at some point. So, um, <clears throat> but Hey, I knocked out my imposter game off the bat. So that's, I can rest easy a little bit yeah, now. So you know, I'm not, I'm not going to rest honest, totally though. easy. Be honest. What, what? what were you thinking when? Before knowing the uh, the imposter game, what were you thinking? Yeah. Like, were you thinking this was the imposter game? Were you? Are you? Being I was. Too- I was. Yeah, I was suspecting that this was the imposter game, and for the sole reason that I, I, I don't know how much Shadow Attorney and I have like interacted as much in the Discord, but like I've I've talked about Metroid Prime plenty of times before uh, on this channel. Um, I know I've talked about it in the Discord before as well, really enjoying it. And I think I may have even said somewhere that I've played it before. Um, like in in the like talking about this stuff here. So um so I kind of suspected that one, particularly because it's more recent, it's a little shorter. Um and it's uh yeah, I mean I think I think those are kind of the reasons that I sort of suspected it. It was you know more being a more a more recent game. Um like the likelihood was higher that I had played it and that, um, and, uh, and that I just hadn't gotten around to, to mm, playing it that, yet. Um, but you, that was kind of what I was thinking with it, but, um, but going in and that's, that's why I didn't necessarily want to play it. I didn't want to play the game thinking that I was just going to knock out my, that right away. I suspected it, but I was like, this is a great excuse for me to uh, per- turn my switch on again, play this game. Um, I, I had just, I've been playing through some theater rhythm. I've been playing through some other stuff. Um, I was, you know, I was coming off Bal and Wonder World. <laughs> um, coming off that. Um, and I'm going to also be going back into Final Fantasy 16 here briefly. Um, and so, uh, so I was like, all right, well, this is like a nice, good game to kind of get me back in the groove. It's a game I love. It's a game I I, I adore. So like, this is going to get me back into like really kind of wanting to, to like play games consistently. I don't necessarily have to focus on this list, but like I know this game is something that I love and it's something that I can I can I can grind out pretty easily and pretty quickly. And I know I'm going to I know it's, when I start playing it, I'm it's I mean, I have a hard time putting it down. And that's exactly what happened. So mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, so yeah, you did I mean, exactly what you want to do if you're getting the imposter game first. You did it like within five days of the challenge, so it's you're basically yeah. As of this video, starting your gen challenge like normal. Yeah, I guess so. At this point, yeah. So I, you know, so I can kind of put the other, I can kind of put the other games on the back burner because we got some big, some big stuff coming out. We just had like, two huge RPGs released like over the course of the last week. We had Persona 3 Reload. We had um, freaking Grand Blue Fantasy, Fantasy Relink, and that was the, that's a game I think I also want to want to take a look at here too. But I, I definitely want to go back. 16 really needs to be beaten. <laughs> mm-hmm. Really need to play through that game. So, but we got that, and then we have Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth coming out later this month at the end of the month. So, well, so, so maybe uh, you don't want to put it on the back burner too much. You're gonna get caught up. Maybe, yeah. Maybe not. Maybe not. It's it's tough. Tough to kind of. Well, what uh, are the two other games my... you have here on your the your assignment? The other two games I have are uh, one of the games that I have uh, on my uh, that I've been challenged to do as part of this is Pandora's Tower, yeah. and I have something here that's a little, little special uh, related to that. Uh, there was a there were three Wii RPGs kind of released around the same kind of yeah. same time or. They were all kind of coming out. There's a lot of lead up to them. And Nintendo of America was like not really saying anything about releasing them. So there was like a big fan movement related to that, which is Operation Rainfall. And now this is a little special box that I got. Or I think I donated I donated a little like $10 or like $15 or something, I think, to this. Um, and as a poor college student, that was quite a lot of money <laughs> to mm-hmm. me back then. But I donated money and, and to get like a little carrying case when they... When they finally announced that the third game, that Pandora's Tower, was going to be localized by NIS America, um, and mm. uh, so Nintendo published Xenoblade. I think oh, who? Uh, I think it was Xseed. Was yes, Xseed was the last story. Have you beaten the last story? There, but, 
I have, yes. Okay, I was going to say, so this, it's the, so close it's to be the, the last yeah. Guardian. It's the other game. So it's, yeah, so Pandora's Tower, <clears throat> right here, I have the reversible cover. Uh, I think they all came with a reversible cover. Whoa. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, so this is the third game in the, opera the Operation Rainfall trilogy. It's kind of like, sort of an unofficial l l lumping in. <clears throat> Pandora's Tower is is very different from the other, other two. It's I think it's a little bit more... I. I have actually played it before. Um, I just, I, and I think I may have actually gotten kind of far. I actually don't know. I think it's not a very long game, but, um, but I remember like almost nothing about it other than that it was an action game and that your decisions, the things that you do in the game have ramifications because you're like trying to find a cure for your sick girlfriend. Um, and, uh, her fiance, I don't remember if you're like betrothed or I don't remember exactly, but. Anyway, this is just a cool little little box that I have, um, kind of commemorating the 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 Operation Rainfall trilogy. It was like a, just a fan movement to to try to get passion and N Nintendo to respond to like actually release these three games. And um, I mean, I I think the box says it pretty well. In the end, no one will truly know the full impact of Operation Rainfall had on the release of the three titles. Um, but at the very least, it's like this is the dedication that this is like a symbol of the dedication that the fans had. To, to getting these three games released. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it, this is going to be the third one, though. So the last game that I, I haven't beaten. I beat, I've beaten the other two. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, so it'll be nice to actually complete the trilogy. So, so will that be your this priority? is one also. That one? I think that's going to be my first priority, yeah. Uh, I do I do also want to read the little blurb at the top. Every chronicle must be written, every story must be told. Every tower must be conquered. Uh, so I have to, I have to do it. I have to, I have to beat that final tower. You know. So <laughs> yeah. So it's just a little, little special little thing that I have uh, in my collection that I that I will always treasure. And I'm always going to keep the last story in here and not in the collector's edition case because that's it's just, it just means means a lot that I was a part of that whole thing. So yeah, good stuff. I actually wrote for their website for a brief period of time. <clears throat> I don't know if, if anyone knows that, but yeah. Uh, that was that was fun. So, anyway, that'll probably be the next game that I that I look into uh, to playing. Um, and then the third game is uh, the Last Guardian. We got a lot of not the last story, but the Last Guardian. That's right. Uh, which is the Fumito Ueda and uh, Japan Studio game that they came out. It's like the th the third game in the Eco trilogy. They're not really. They're kind of like loosely related, but in the sense that like in terms of like theme and aesthetic, I think they're kind of more loosely related than anything else. Um, but The Last Guardian is is a game that's I think is very divisive. Um, I know some people absolutely love it and some people absolutely hate it. Um, and I, I like sort of divisive and controversial games. Um, speaking of which, I was actually talking with uh, a friend today about possibly picking up the Suicide Squad game, which... Everybody is just dunking on that game right now, but mm -hmm. I'm actually genuinely interested in it, partially because of how controversial it is or how <laughs> divisive it is. That's that kind of making me want to play it more. So regardless, um, this is kind of like think like it's, it was the same studio that made Eco and Shadow of the Colossus. But this one is like you play as a little boy and you, like a giant like dog bird thing. Um, if I think Trico is the name of your companion in that. And the divisive part about it is that I, I think you can like try to tell it what to do, but there can be times where it just won't listen to you, which is very much like an animal. And I can understand it as in terms of a game mechanic, that may be being very frustrating, but I think that's terribly endearing hmm. that it can that the game is actually gonna elicit emotions such as frustration at an animal. <laughs> so um so yeah, I, I'm looking forward to that one, I think probably the most. Um but I think I I do want to I do want to do Pandora's Tower first, um, just because I have I have put time into that game. Start and clean slate. I think it's like on my old Wii. I think is where the save file is anyway. So um, I'm gonna be no. playing that on the Wii U. But, you basically had a fresh yeah, start with your two games. So <clears throat> yeah, what do you think, gent? Supreme gent? Rascal. Oh, supreme gent. I'll be a supreme gent. I will do it. We'll I'll see. make it happen. We'll see. You already named like five other games that you're going to start playing. 
<laughs> no, I made no guarantees that I was actually going to play Suicide Squad. That game is still like a, I think it's like a sixty dollars game still. So it's like, geez. Yeah, but if you're going to play Final Fantasy VII that. Rebirth, and you better get to yeah, work. Well, yeah, I I do have to get to work. It's true. <laughs> but okay, so for mine, I was uh, partnered with Broccoli the Guardian, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's my friend Josh, who is incidentally the person who I was just talking about, who I was going to play the Suicide Squad mm-hmm. game with, because um, he's playing okay. it. So he's so, a big superhero fan. So yeah, with the way this challenge worked, I, I know the identities of everyone's imposter game except for my own, and you happen to know the identity of that. But deal with your bugs, not on my time. <laughs> How did you know it was a bug? Is it the face that I made? Yeah, it was the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. It was a stink bug that, like, that, like, was on its back, and then it, like, on its back, off my desk onto the floor. This is very weird. It was very disconcerting. Anyway, continue. Control your pests. Can't control mm. them all. <laughs> Can't control them all. It's on my day off. <laughs> It's on my off time. Yeah. So, uh, That's true. Yeah, so the games I was assigned are um, Earthbound, Metal Gear Solid, and Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Mm. All right. Three games I probably wouldn't have touched any time soon otherwise. Uh, ironically, I, I realized I did not have Sly Cooper here when I uh, was about to play it. And I had to go track it down because my brother had... Because they were basically his games. Metal Gear Solid and Sly mm. Cooper are both ironically his games. I realized after the fact <laughs> that I never took off of my lists. Um, mm. So uh, I had to get Sly Cooper from him. Because my strategy is this. It's very simple. To me, looking at it, Sly Cooper seems like the most obvious imposter game. That's just what it gives. Oh, it's, yeah. What it's giving to me. Yeah. Yeah, because but, of the is because of the, the thief aspect of it, kind of. <laughs> no, not because of that, <laughs> but because okay. it's like the most palatable, like it's the most like enticing one to go for first. And but to me, it's like, all right, I'm gonna go for it first because it's the shortest game, and it, it is the most palatable. Mm. So worst case scenario, it's the imposter game, and I can quickly move on. Uh, best case scenario. Whoops! It's not the imposter game. I just I just got a gent, nice and easy, and that's on you, broccoli. But we'll yeah. see how it goes. So uh, <laughs> uh, my uh, ideal trajectory would be to beat Sly Cooper first, and then Earthbound, and see see where I fare at that point. Um, would be nice if I'm just blessed and Sly Cooper is it one of the games, and so. We'll see. I think that'll determine a lot of my trajectory, but I've been playing it and uh, making some progress. Uh, not crazy progress. I think I'm like 20% through the game or something, but still still decent enough. I've been enjoying it. So regardless, I'll be happy that I got to play it finally. And nice. then we'll see. we'll see what happens from there. Uh, yeah, so I know I know his sort of like thoughts, like <clears throat> in terms of like he kind of went into like his thoughts of why he like picked some of the stuff. I think he, he talked about it a little bit in the in the actual Discord. Yeah, he liked server, all of them. Like, um, yeah, it's just games that he liked a lot. Earthbound's like one of his favorite games of all time, um, and the other two are just games that he just loves. Um, Metal Gear Solid he loves now. I think Sly Cooper is a very like ch- is kind of like childhood game for him really big so, <clears throat> so but yeah. uh, all in all i'm very uh i'm grateful for the three i got because he definitely i i went i threw caution to the wind and did a mega list of like 360 games <laughs> so uh i could i set myself up i could have easily gotten three dragon quest games i could have gotten three final fantasy <laughs> yeah. games like whatever and then that would have been truly uh, Monty. But I'm taking my easy out. I'm going for Sly Cooper first, and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, right. that's good. No, I mean, I think it's it's cool. That's sort of the fun of, like, getting p- paired with different people because they'll pick just completely different stuff. Like, he went totally, like, 
favorite games and a game I saw that was, you know, that I loved from my childhood that was on there. You know, it was like yeah. the easy, easy few, uh, easy three games for him to, to, to decide. So. So, yeah. Yeah. And then once once the challenge is over, when we come back in a couple of months, we'll do a video saying how everything went, which will be very interesting to break down because we get to see how the trials and tribulations of these imposter games and we can yeah. talk about like our actual our thinking going into the games we assigned them, uh, our partners. So, we'll be able to break it all down. Yeah, yeah. Because we don't need to. We don't need to give a reveal. We don't want to show our hand yes. too too early. Yeah, yeah. Well, what are your predictions for the for the overall challenge? You know, we got we got so many participants. I mean, it's going to be pretty crazy. Everybody seems um, raring to go. Everyone seems like yeah. You know, there's so many people saying, like, I'm going to try to be all three games if I can. I'm like, no, that's not the spirit of the challenge. You're supposed to be upset that you got a, a bad game. And then <laughs> <laughs> I want people banking on on the, this is the game. I have, uh, like, two weeks left it, to beat one game, and I'm, I'm picking this one, and it's gambling at all. It was funny because... Uh... Because my friend Troubadour Zero, who's another one of my college friends, was banking on Sonic Adventure being the troll game, right? Basically, because it's yeah. Sonic, it's because it's older, it's jank, you know, it's got a kind of a reputation, it's kind of jank, you know. But, um, and and it was really fun actually watching him play because yeah, it was he had a very interesting um, perspective on on it that he ended up enjoying Sonic probably the least, which I don't think is an opinion that I share, um, having played through most of that game. Um, but it's, that's interesting, you know, it's pretty cool. Again, games that you wouldn't necessarily expect anyone else to play, but yeah, heck, you know, we've already got a couple of gents in the mix, a few of them, <clears throat> not and, me, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but it's cause look, some of these people think they're slick. And when they, when I saw these lists, I'm like, what is this list? Boss Chass, you know, these people that they want to get Supreme every time, they're going to make damn sure they're not putting anything too long on there that'll make it so they can't get Supreme. He has yep. some like yeah, shorter look, games, you know? Yeah, it does look yeah. to me like, uh, like he beat a game while we were recording or he around, did. probably when we were recording Survivor, it looks like something happened. So I'll have, I'll have to give the, give the news on that. Oh, you did already. I did. Sweet. I did. Dang. Dang, you know. <laughs> so, like... I left myself very vulnerable. My brother did as well, having his huge list where, like I said, it could have been three meaty RPGs and you really are actually gambling mm -hmm. on which which one you're trying. Look, mm -hmm. if you're going to give me a nice, cozy uh, platformer to go for, I'm going to go for it. You know, I'll take the bait and then maybe, you know, like your friend, I'll luck into a gent, like thinking it's the imposter one. And Yeah, you know, there you go. That's not a not a bad way to do it. I mean, that's kind of what I did. So you know, go go with what works, go with what what feels right. And then yeah, Earthbound would be my next choice. I really would like to finish that one. It's the longest mm. of the three, but it's uh, nothing too crazy. So I think I can do that. It's a charming little game. Would be nice. Would be nice if I get a Supreme Gent. Would be nice. Yeah. Uh, have to see where you where you end up. Yeah. Any any thoughts on anyone else's or anything else for this challenge here? Um. Yeah. Let me just let me just browse through that list one more time. So far, we have a successful gent oh. in Josh Prep who finished Mega Man Three. Mm. Uh, Holy Hand Grenade finished Katamari Katamari Damacy Reroll. And uh, yes, yeah, it's a Troubadour Zero, Sonic Adventure. And then Troubadour Zero, Sonic Adventure, and then Boss Chaz just finished one, right? Yeah, he just finished, uh, he just finished Bayonetta, Bayonetta two. 2. And so those are all yeah. gents, and then you just finished your imposter game. An imposter game. You had, to be, you had to break it in for us, you know? Yeah, I, I had Pop to be the, the one cherry. breaking it in, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I did. I had to. <laughs> Um, I, I, so I wanted to comment on Rusty and Dubs cause they got paired up, which is like, that's, that's fun. Um, but, uh, Dubs pointed out that like his games were like game games that are for, or like you forget about. So Kirby and the Forgotten Land, well, it's in the lore. He forgot about it. Untitled Goose Game. I mean, they didn't even come up with a, they didn't even come up with a name for the game. So it's sort of forgotten, you know, and then Chia, he doesn't even remember that 
he has that game or what it's called most of the time. So all stuff he forgot. I have absolutely no idea what the theme he's, he's like, see if you can guess the theme, Rusty, for what I picked. And, it was, and he was like, I have no idea what his theme is. I, looking at these, I have no, I don't know. I mean, I would have guessed like Jank, but, uh, or yeah, I don't know. I okay, know. a game he's a game he's played, a, a remaster of a game he's never heard of, and another game he's never heard of. That's my guess. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. I think. Well, I can't say too much, but I was like, I kind of figured it out from. But okay. of course, I know the answer now. But yeah, he's talking yeah. like well, a theme to deduce what the fake game is. What he's trying to say. Oh, about. is that? Oh, that's what he's talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have no idea. I got nothing. Okay. Yeah, I thought it, I found it funny though that uh, uh, Thanos gave East Gilliam. It's every single challenge, one way or another. East Gilliam's gonna have a Gears of War game, Yakuza game. Like, <laughs> Yuck. He, he's had like two other Gears of War games in his lists of uh, yeah the games he's finished and just challenges before. He's freaking running out of Gears of War games now. He's <laughs> on Gears of War five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Yakuza three, one of the least. I think usually one of the least talked about Yakuza games. Maybe Yakuza 4 actually is a little bit more, but I don't hear they people talking about that Yakuza one too much. Games. Um, yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I wish I could get I wish I could get into all of it, but um Yeah, there's so much so much I'd like to dig into. <clears throat> Finding really interesting a lot of Metroid Prime going around yeah. this time. Uh Rebel of the Rebellion, kind of a new member. Uh, and Kingdom Hearts Boy both <laughs> both have that. Uh, people playing that. I played it. Um, yeah, shout out to, to the, the Rebel of the Rebellion who through our uh, yeah. box art battles with Pete Door found our our Discord. So yeah, that's freaking awesome. So yeah, shout out to that. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. So it's gonna be fun though. Oh, Chrono, Tr- Chrono Trigger showing up also as well. It's exciting. It is. Oh, so. wait, at the, at the buzzer, as we're about to finish up this video, Krillin Ball Z just clocked the hey just clocked a game. Oh, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker? A cute-looking game. And that is also a successful gents challenge. Gents, uh, oh, damn. <laughs> I'm just alone. All by myself. Don't want to be Oh. Yeah, I wish it would have been cool if I had I had finished uh, Sly Cooper in time for this one, so we would both know where we, mm. where we stand on our yeah first game. yeah. But it is what it is. But um, yeah, honestly, if, if I looked at a list, I would have probably guessed that Captain Toad was was his imposter game of those three. But he's probably doing a similar thing where it's like probably the easiest went through the through. short game. Yeah, easiest to get through there. So, um, yeah, so you just said the same yeah, thing. Yeah, I probably would have said that too. I probably would have, I probably would have thought that too, actually. But that's people, funny. But that's then people funny try that to subvert, people are looking for. Yeah, there's a lot of yeah. some people try to subvert expectations, but then you just end up giving people a free W, and then it's like, that's <laughs> why I purposely tried to avoid giving like one clearly like shorter game than the other because people are always going to go for that. And it's like, well, you can either make that the fake one, and it's then they get that they get that out of the way real quick, or you don't make that the fake one, and then they get the gen status real quick. But I don't know. I don't know if people are really thinking about it as much as I was. But you know, I th- I tried to play into the theme. You know, let's make it fun. You know, if we get yeah. three sh- three fun short games, it's like okay. Well, <coughs> so we'll come back in a couple months. See how everything went. The aftermath, the bloody aftermath. Of the twenty participants in this spicy challenge which i've basically mm. simplified down to is like a among us challenge you know it's the imposter game yeah <laughs> <laughs> like which game is the imposter like which three game, game monty which games are looking sussy sussy little bacas and which are confirmed town you be the judge you be the judge. I'll just say I saw a couple people venting. It's weird. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Among Us. 
Oh, yeah. you saw a couple people by the vent? I saw so a couple like, people mm, venting, you know? Oh, they're and venting, passers, yeah. You happen to vent. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. That's true. Oh, that's right. It's been a little bit since I played that game. All right, well, game. thanks, All right. folks. I'm put Among Us <laughs> on my next list. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You gotta roll credits on that one. You gotta roll credits, gotta get a platinum trophy. <laughs> I don't even know if it has true like like that. I don't even know if that's a thing. If it yeah. is, it's like that's probably the easiest thing to cheese in the world. Right, 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 right. So thank you for watching. We shall see. Yeah, we shall see. Uh, hopefully, I wonder if uh, I mean I find it doubtful. We'll get a, another hundred uh, percent success rate with <laughs> so many pe- moving parts. Yeah, so many people. And so many moving parts. Yeah. So shifty games. <clears throat> mm. This game is just an illusion. Metro Prime was never a part of this chance challenge. It was just an illusion. Not anymore. It's not. It, it isn't now. That's for that's for <laughs> dang sure. the record. You know, I have the yeah. I compiled the gen stats sheet and everything. Mm-hmm. And so now, I mean, I'm just gonna. I guess just not acknowledge that those games ever existed. And uh, for the re- <laughs> for the record. <laughs> Kind of sad, but all right, that's it. Thank you. Uh, leave a comment if you'd like, and we'll read it in the next episode of the Talk Around Podcast. Subscribe to the channel, like yeah. the video, and if you aren't a part of it already, click the link. There's a link in the description always to join the Discord and come on in. We do a Gents Challenge on a, like a two month rotating basis, so we'll have two months on, two months off. And then in that off period, we're going to always have an off, off-season off Gents Challenge. It'll last a month. All right, so join us if that interests all right. you at all. Yeah. And take care. Come on down. All right. Oh, Zach, would you recommend a video for anyone to watch? Possibly? I could. I could. I'll recommend uh, yeah. <laughs> Box, Art, Box Art Battle Season Finale with Pete Doerr. We'll all right, pick the winners of all our box art battles episodes against each other to determine the best of the best video game box art of box art battles. True, true. Spoilers for all the other ones, but like, it's okay. It's about the journey, really, more than the destination. So, so just skip right to the destination. No, no. no watch the whole video, please. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, the video is kind of the destination. It's true. Final destination. Uh, that's that's one v one me. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'll do that. All right. I'll do that. All right. All right. Take okay. care. All right. <laughs> All right.